First, though, we want to welcome you to the show. Let's get right to First Alert meteorologist Steve Villanueva with the latest on the forecast in Adalia's track. Steve Olinwevi here tracking Hurricane Idalia. As of 11 a.m., Idalia a little bit stronger now, producing winds of 85 miles an hour. It did become a hurricane earlier today, working its way into the Gulf of Mexico. Ahead of it, the waters are very warm. We're talking sea surface temperatures of about 85 to about 89 degrees. So as a result, the storm is expected to get stronger as we head into roughly the next 18 to 24 hours. Later today, it becomes a Category 2, winds of 105. And then early tomorrow morning, at that point in time, a Category 3 hurricane. So a major hurricane, winds of 125 miles an hour. This is right around 8 a.m., making landfall in the Big Bend of Florida, the Nature Coast. Then once, in a, once it's on land, it quickly starts to dissipate, becomes a tropical storm, working its way across the Carolinas, and then it slides farther out into the Atlantic. Now, as far as the chance of us seeing tropical storm force winds here in southeast Florida, Florida. They're very low, 10% or less. The higher chances farther north from Tampa through Jacksonville and over towards parts of the Panhandle. So as a result, locally, we do not have any tropical watches or warnings in effect. However, just to our north into the Space Coast, we do have a tropical storm warning in effect, and that goes all the way up to Jacksonville. In the meantime, along the Gulf Coast, that's where we do have those hurricane warnings in effect. So for us, the winds start to pick on up later today we're talking winds at 30 to 40 miles an hour rainfall generally one to two inches as we do start to see those squall lines come in later this afternoon and into tonight